one underneath the hood, we have our battery cover right here. There's a couple little tabs fore and aft. You just want to press in on that. On both of these here, I'm going to lift up this whole unit. I'm going to swing this up and away to expose our battery. Using a 10 millimeter socket, go ahead and remove the terminal. On our passenger side interior trim panel here, I want to go ahead and use a trim removal tool and going to get underneath this little cover right here and pop it up. We're going to work our way back, lifting this up as we go. up and we're going to go ahead and disconnect the two connectors on the back of this. There are two little tabs. Simply press in on the tab, wiggle the connector out. Set that aside. On the inside of the door pole you're going to find two Phillips head screws. Use your Phillips head screwdriver to go ahead, loosen and remove these. You're going to go ahead and use your trim tool remover. We want to get between the door panel and the door shell itself. Grab the panel, get underneath, and you want to go ahead and work this out. As you come around, you might be able to get your hand inside, gently tug out on the panel, and loosen those clips. As you loosen them, work your way around the door. Once the door is pulling away for you and you feel all the clips are released, but now go ahead and lift upward on the door panel. Now with the door panel loose, go ahead and I'm just going to grab a bungee cord. And the purpose of this is simply to support the door panel. Just let that hang there, it keeps all the uh, weight off of the cables and everything. And that way there you don't have to disconnect the cable off the back of the door handle or any of the other electrical connectors going to the panel. Let's use our trim tool and get behind here and release this little button. Right, once that pops out, we'll leave it in there. We're not gonna remove it. And if we follow this all the way up and around to the top and around to the bottom edge. It'll bring us down to the lower one on the opposite side. Use your trim tool. Go ahead and pop this one out. With this loose, we're gonna work from this edge here. Gently gonna pull out. And pull this trim panel all the way off. Set this trim panel aside. Next, 
Let's go ahead and disconnect our uh, wiring harness connectors here for the mirror. I'm going to press in on this little tab. You can do it by hand like this or use your trim tool. Using a T30 Torx bit, we want to go ahead and loosen and remove this screw right here. This is one of three mounting uh, pieces of hardware for the mirror. Next, we're going to transition over to a 10 millimeter socket. We're going to loosen and remove this lower bolt right here. 10 millimeter socket and extension. We'll go to loosen and remove this one here. You can loosen it first. Next, reach out, support the mirror. Go ahead and remove the mounting bolt. Once that's free, you want to support that mirror. Go ahead and work that grommet out. work your connectors through and remove it from the vehicle. And start by feeding the electrical connectors through the door itself. line up the grommet, work that through. And once that's locked into place, go ahead and take one of your 10 millimeter bolts here. And I usually go for the top one, get that started by hand. Once that's started by hand, that'll allow you to go ahead and release the outside of it, and then get your other two pieces of hardware installed. Now holding the mirror in place, we'll go ahead and snug down our hardware. want to snug these down because these are going into plastic. If you over tighten them, you can damage the mounting points on the mirror. Now go ahead and connect our harnesses. Simply line them up, press them in until you hear the click. Take your plastic trim. We'll go ahead and slide this down inside the track of the door frame itself. Go ahead and line up your push pin. Press that in. All right, you want to work your way around. Push that into place. As you come around to the front side here, work your trim up and in. You can install your little push button here. Now on this side here, we actually caught a little bit of the weather stripping when installing the plastic trim. We're just gonna use our trim tool. We're just gonna get behind and work the weather stripping out and just kind of finesse the plastic and work that seal out.
And there you have it. Seal on the outside, trim on the inside. Go ahead and grab your door panel that's supported by the bungee cord. Remove the bungee cord. And to lift this up, you want to get the upper part caught on the top of the door sill here. We also want to get our lock rod lined up here as well. Once we have the door panel hung, we'll go ahead and push in on our trim buttons and get these all locked in. Just going to press in, working your way around the perimeter. Install your two Phillips head screws, securing the door panel to the door shell. Not going to snug that, that, snug that one down yet. We're going to get the other one in here started with both of them installed. Let's go ahead and snug this one down, and then we'll come back to this one, tighten that one down. Let's go ahead and reinstall your electrical harness, starting with the small one. Line that up, press it in. Here, a click. Same with the larger connector. Press it in. Get that click. And when you install, you want to pay attention to these metal clips. Each of these mounting tabs should have the clip attached to it. If it is stuck in the door panel, you want to go ahead and remove them and reattach them to this trim bezel. We're going to start by installing the tail section first, working our way forward. Go ahead and reconnect the ground terminal and the battery. I'm going to take our cover, line that up. Make sure that the tabs are lined up on the side over here and just press this down. We're locked in. 